In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to show you some beginner steps that you can take to get into the world of adjusting the color in your videos. It's called color grading. And to do it as an expert, you need lots of technical background and you have to understand color theory. We're just going to start out with some very simple steps in this tutorial. Things that get you started. We're not going to go into Color Director if you happen to own that, but we're going to use some of the tools available in the most recent copy of PowerDirector itself. I'm going to show you a before and after, and then we'll tackle a few of the color issues of this particular video with a couple of simple tools. One of the things I want to do is change the color of the water a bit. It's kind of a blue-gray. I'd like it to be a little more blue. The second thing I'd like to do is I'd like to enhance the feathering on the goose. It's a little indistinct and the foreground is as well. I can adjust all of that with a few simple controls in my color enhancement. So I'm going to click on my clip and then click on the Fix Enhance button above the timeline. This opens up all these controls that I have available to me to manage color. Now it can be very complicated to start with, but I'm going to just do a few simple things in this case. So I'm going to widen the panel and we could use the sliders, but I'm going to start out with something different. I'm going to use white calibration. I find that always to be a good place to start if I want to modify my colors. I'm going to click on the ball next to white calibration and then click on the eyedropper. Now I need to click on the left side on the original on something that's white. And we have a calibrated option on the right side. I can accept that or I can click my own area. I'm going to click this one here and I've selected the color and I'm going to click on OK. And now if I do the compare split preview on the left side, let's see what that changed. We automatically see that we have a bit of a difference here. My water's a little bit bluer. I have a little more change in the coloring of the grass here. It's not quite as green, but it's a little more distinct. So we're going to change a couple of other things. The other tool that I like to use to start out with that doesn't get too difficult is color adjustment. We'll click on that and here we have a bunch of controls. Exposure is one that I thought I had pretty good but I'm going to actually dial it back because this shot was taken during the middle of the day and it's that harsh bright light. I'm going to just smooth the slider back just a little bit and recapture a little bit of those darker tones and exposure. It doesn't take much to make a big difference. The next thing I want to deal with is I want to deal with saturation. Now when you use saturation you have to be very careful because it can make things look garish in a hurry. So what I'm going to do is just slide it up just the smallest amount, a little more saturation. And vibrancy is like junior saturation only it doesn't affect all the colors. It affects the more subdued colors so you can crank that up a little bit more and get a little bit more coloring. Look how darker the animal's uh, feathers are on his back. So I like that. A little more intense there. And also for the chick. The next one I want to work on a little bit is sharpness. And we'll just sharpen it up maybe 20-25% here. And now I get much more distinct lines around the face with the black and white. And much more distinct lines around here. So that's pretty good. So we have a, a bluer sky. We have more clarity in the foreground. Now if this is a case where you want a more softer shot, obviously you do the opposite. But here I'm just looking for clarity and sharpness. So those are just a few of the things that I often pay attention to when I'm trying to do some minor beginner color adjustment. I'm going to close the window and then we'll Look at this larger. So now we have some of our problems, if not solved, at least improved. The water looks better. The foreground looks better. The coloring is sharper here. 
and uh, it obviously will apply for the entire duration of the clip. But uh, I like the way this looks. I like the change that it made, and it was pretty simple to get started in the world of color grading. I hope it's an introduction that you'll try if you never have before as you use CyberLink PowerDirector.